when I when anybody called Maro was born, mm. was born during the time uh, the father or the grandfather came and f found a child is born while he was drunkard. Oh. So Maro is the alcohol pombe. Oh, Maro is alcohol. Pombe. Yeah. So we are called after that. Please, you. there's tobacco here. There's tobacco here. What don't you guys have? <laughs> yeah. And where's this place? Uh, this is actually uh, this uh, slaughter, slaughtering house. Oh, this is yeah. a slaughterhouse. This is a slaughterhouse. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. This is the slaughterhouse in the village. This is where you guys like slaughter your animals. Yeah, that's I true. see it's clean also, you know. Yeah, it's clean. So every day, like every day. Uh, every day, actually, they do slaughter even more than uh, five cows. Five. Yeah. In a day. In a day. So the slaughter is for like sale. You guys sell. Or? Yeah, we do sell. Yeah. But we where is the nearest market? The one at the market, yeah, center at there. The Nyabuanse one. Yeah. I see also the, the, the book. So where is tobacco, but I want to see tobacco. You want to see tobacco? Yes. Oh, we have this. You just follow me. Follow me. I want to show you tobacco. So here we have a tobacco. This is a tobacco plant. So this is how tobacco plant looks like. Yeah, this is tobacco plant actually. I'm sure so many people have never seen tobacco plant. Yeah. Not only now. Ah, so there's a factory here to like process it. No, no, no. Ah. Yeah, actually we do plant and then uh, we do we dry. After drying it, then it's just being transported. To? Uh, maybe Nairobi. Nairobi. That's where we have the. Like the processing yeah. plants and all that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah.
yo mpaka tukimie hii chakula ndio iwe so he saying kama mimi ni mzee najitwisha kwa kichwa kwa kuumia kukubwa sana bana okay naona mm. eh na watoto shuleni ni wengi mpaka pesa imekosa hata ya kununua mbolea tu mm. naona sasa ndio maki unaona natumia hii mchanga ni uweke nione kama itaweza fanya mm. at least chakula kiwe watoto walijua shule so hii hii mbolea unatoa wapi pale kwa nini hii mbolea natoa pale kwa machinjo na tunainunua na chukua kuku na uza nipewe mbona ah so apparently you have to pay for the fertilizer so this is a natural fertilizer that they get from the slaughterhouse so you have to pay to get your to plant because it's the planting season because they're experiencing uh, in this village high rainfalls at the moment that's why if you look at the crops that will be destroyed so he's trying to explain to me how he gets his fertilizer to plant you know on a daily basis like now the farm is so big ndio nipatie mwenye hiyo hiyo samadi atupe nini juu pesa watoto wamechukua zote shuleni hakuna kitu so hii ni familia yako hii ni family yangu fred 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 Unajua Fred Maru hapa chini. Uh, Fred Maru nilipokwama alinisaidia sana. Alinipatia hata uh. 30,000 nilikuwa nimekwama watoto university. Uh. Ikabidi eh nimnunulie mtoto hata sanduku nguo. Huyo ni mmoja lakini mwingine nilikuwa na vingombe na kuku. Uh. Nikachukua nikauza lakini Fred aliniambia atazidi kusimama na mimi. Uh. Ndio tu jamaa anatusaidia hapa ambaye yuko YouTube. So 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 Fred anawasaidia hapa sana. Fred anatusaidia kuliko hao wengine wapo YouTube hapa. Hmm. Eh yeah, vijana wengine. Hmm. Kuna mwenye anatusaidia kama Fred. Hmm. So yeah. Fred Fred actually is Marwa. Hmm. So he's Marwa. telling me that Fred really you know comes through for most of the villages around here because you know he's uh, he's known around this place. So he really comes through for the villages. Hmm. Hmm. So where where you are he's telling me like he had uh, some areas in the university and Marwa came through. Like he's known this place a lot. I'm, that is what that is the reaction I'm getting from apparently guys from around the village. Eh hmm. hata sasa hizi venye naongea hivi kuna hmm. mtoto amenipigia nilimwambia mtoto wa wili laptop hmm. pesa ambazo alinipatia. Lakini leo hii kuna mwingine ameniambia ame miss class hmm. laptop ameniambia nimwambia lakini pesa imenikosa kabisa. Hmm. Nafikiria nirudi kwa Freddy na kosa venye naweza pata hizo pesa ndio napiga mahesabu venye nitafanya. Ah. Hmm. So he has actually more areas and to sort out some things and he's actually thinking of going back to Marwa because I'm here he asked me if I'm from Marwa's I'm Marwa's guest and I told him yes so he's telling me he's contemplating going to Marwa to ask for you know more help sawa sawa asante bwana sawa na mimi nataka nitembee hivi nikoko around niko namba yako nimepata au kupiga ingia kwangu sawa acha nipige ingia kwako kwenda kusahau na za mshtua tunazaongea si ndio Atu nitembeze hapa nijue hii area yako vizuri haina shida cuz mimi ni mgeni sawa 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 si ndio sawa 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 sasa umesema mara wanawasaidia hapa sana mara ndo ambao wajiwezi amewasaidia sasa kama mimi vyenye nilienda kwake si unaona alinipatia msaada yeah. na ndio nilikuwa nafikiria nirudi kwa mara tena juu mm. mtoto amenipigia tu saa hizi nikiwa nimefika pale ukiwa pale Hmm. Mmeniambia mimi ma classes kuanzia eh jana hajasoma. Hmm. Kozi ana hiyo laptop. Naona. Hakuna shida. Sawa sawa. Tutapata ndio. Haya. Fresh. Fresh. Pamoja. So Maro is actually a big deal here. Even they see someone with a camera, they automatically know that you are from Maro's place. So I'm trying I'm just trying to walk the village because I don't know this place quite well but I'm trying to explore it on my own and also you know with some youtubers some villagers and just meeting them you know asking them some questions about you not know, just interacting with the villagers just trying to interact with them get you know but the moment they see me they see um Marwa's guest and uh, you've heard from him his explanation his narration is Maro is up, you know, a breath of fresh air here. Let's walk around. Maybe we'll get we'll get more, you know, 
clauses or more sentiments from these guys. How about is it? Uh, why are two cars? Eh? Ah, sir. So the rains, rains may destroy it. Yeah, may destroy everything. Crops there. Apo sa i, kitungi na jam sa nito. Siyo kitunomo, kito yung kushanga. But si kapa na onam na papa na barikyo na panda kila kito. Yeah, pa yeah. By the way, boda na tupen, na bunga na tupen, na tupen. Na panda kila kito. Spoko sa sa ni destroy yamaji tiripu derika. Di karibu man eh. Kosai, sulodah tak kau nak? Kuku jum. Ayo mekua kemasan. Asal kau nak kuku jum? Mutuani kap bisa kau dari riba. Di pata kita. Putus di mari bika. Ayo mekua destroy tu. Ayo sasa tu nombor ya, tu ni dia sasa. You are crying in the body body. Nos. But apa, mana panda kila kitu. Ni mula nak di pina pose. Hey, so no, come on. Hey, pina pose ya ta. Ya ni apa tu saya? Atau avocado si. Madu 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 aja. Adi tobacco. Hey, ata apa tobacco? We are growing. We are growing tobacco here. So he's explaining to me how, you know, uh, the rains, heavy rains have really affected them in this area. Because they have been, ex they are, in Kenya currently we are experiencing an El Nino rainfall. Mm -hmm. So it's really destroyed so many farms. And it's from the farm, right? Yes. And he's headed to the farm? Yeah. Ah, okay. Right. So Sawa, thanks, Manze. Mimi? Yeah. Mina ito Lennox. Okay. Yeah. Sawa. Mina ata kutembe hapa chini. Yeah. Mina imgeni wa maru hapa. Oh, Maro, are you? Yeah, Fred. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, see you. Ah, you and the best ever go. Do you want to tell us? I and I'm sure we do this. Ah, hey, the best ever. Sao, sao, man. What did you check him out? Hmm. Do you? It's the most important thing. You're going to find your way, man. You're going to find your way. 
beautiful thing about the beautiful thing about everything is you know however much it rains the following day the sun will still be up people will still be busy in their farms you know and it's really complaining that uh, this this time round there he sees that uh, there, there's not going to be a lot of harvest the way they you know they normally harvest every year see the maize have been destroyed you can see this is a YouTube I see you guys have experienced a lot of losses with the rains. Yes. Have destroyed your crops. Yes. So are you expecting to get any harvest this time? It will be, mm -hmm. but very little. Very little. Yes. Ah. And you see, with this here, rain stones have spoiled them. <coughs> but and you still uh, come to the farm anyway. Eh? You still come to the farm to, to try your luck. What can you do? Can you do? There's no other another way than uh, working and uh, getting a, a bit little. Ah. Yes. Okay, I'm also walking around, still checking the village, still getting to know the village. <laughs> very welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Niko salamu. Apa dia mama Ann? Sini yuk. Ah, dia nak kuona. Kuona nak kuona tu kuat TV TV. Dia saya izin dia patah kuat kuona sas. Ah, naya saya kujang ingi ya. Ah, sah sant. So this is. Mama Han's place. And uh, the rains, the storms actually devastated the farms. And let me show you. Past uh, Mama Han's house, because it's opposite uh, Mara's place. So I decided to branch by. She invited me to come and say hello to her. You know, she's very famous on YouTube. You guys know that. Ah, Santi san. Hello. Mama. Abadi guy. Kuna kijana mwingine alikuleta. Karibu sana baba yako. Karibu hata tushukuru Mungu. Baba katika China rais tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki na wakati huu. Baba yangu tunasema asante kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu usiyashinda kuna kama wewe. Tasama mgenya nimeingia kwa nyumba yangu baba na mfariki na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Baba nasema asante kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu usiyashinda ni katika China rais tunaomba na kwa nini. Amen. Karibu baba yangu. Asante sana mama. 
Wewe nimekuja kukutembelea. Asante baba. Wana kuna tu kwa TV. Nimeshukuru sana. Mm. Nashukuru sana baba. Hapa ndio kwa mama Ana. Mm. Mm. Mama Ana's place. Uh -huh. yeah. So guys, I'm, I'm uh, with uh, Mama Ana. She's uh, very famous uh, with uh, on YouTube actually. So I was passing by she invited me to come and say hello. I've never met her. Today is the first time actually I'm meeting her. And uh, she's actually very happy to, to you know to, to just bring people just to come and say hello to her. So mama, hey, Asante, uh, mimi natoka Kisumu, mimi natoka Lenox. Kisumu baba. Eh, hey, natoka na, Nairobi. Kuna kijana mwingine pia hmm. alinikwambia alikuja hapa saa 5 hmm. juzi. Sasa hiyo wana wakaongea na maro. Unajua maro wako na roho safi sana. Hmm. Yaani yeye ako mm -hmm. na roho safi sana ufuri kabisa. She's telling me that guys come around like all the time. Mm -hmm. And Maro actually has a very soft heart like welcoming people you know he has no problem with welcoming guests na mimi baba nilimkaribisha kwangu ana haraka kwangu ah nisimjui lakini sema ni Mungu ametuunganisha unajua mgeni ni baraka ah eh ni baraka acha ni kuja take maji usitoke hapo eh acha ni kunywe maji eh baba acha ni kunywe so you can you can see how eh anani pika chakula na wewe unaitwa nani ibra so you can see how Mama Anne is very happy actually to receive guests. She's telling me there's a guest, Mara's guest, who came around at midnight. And uh, she's hosting her. She's been hosting her because now uh, visitors are guests from God. That is what she's telling me. And actually, she's running to get me some water. You know, it's an African thing when you go to an African homestead. You, you have to drink something. Baraka kabisa baba ya baraka. Ugeni ni mzuri. Hata Mungu anasema wageni ni baraka. Karibu baba. Baba katika China Rais tunapopa hiki kinywa hiki takasi kwa damu Yesu. Kinywa tupate kusa kutumikia kwa China Rais Amen. Karibu baba yako. Asante sana. Sio mama hapa ndio kwako. Hapa ndio kwangu. Hapa ndio marani nichengea. Na furahia sana sana sana. Hata mvua ikinyasa usiku. Sisiki Usiki. Nikiingia ndani <laughs> sisikia asubuhi ndio nimeona mvua. Yeah. Namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sana baba. Mara yeah. amenitoa mbali mm. kupitia kwa Mungu. Alinitoa mbali. Nina, unaona pale mahindi nimepandwa mm. ndio nilikuwa naishi baba. Mvua ikinyasa maji kwa na japa nyumba. Kabisa yeah. tunaamka usiku tunakaa. Mm. Mungu huyu ni msuri baba. Mahari nifike hapa. Mm. Sio kwa mapenzi yangu. Ni Mungu. So guys probably probably you've heard Maman's story she's she's the lady that uh, Marwa built her home and uh, relocated her to a new land and built a new home so she's telling me how she used to get frustrated uh -huh. when she used to be in her, you know the previous house before she relocated here so the way it used to rain and everything and now she's very grateful to Marwa that is what she's you know she's trying to tell me here yeah. Mm -hmm. Baba, sana, sana. So, mbali. Bari, baba, mm. Mungu ndio anajua sehemu mara amenitoa. Mm. Wewe baba yangu, we, hata wewe ungekujiona hiyo. Alisoyasekana, mimi kupitia kwangu. Mm. Ukweli kabisa hakuna rinini wa sekana kwa Mungu. Hakuna. Siku anajua baba mm. yangu, siku anajua ukweli kabisa. Mimi nashukuru sana umenikaribisha kwako. Asante baba yangu. Asante mm. sana. Hata mimi nashukuru sana ungeni. Mm. Ungeni ni baraka baba. Mm. Nimekuwa nikikukuona tu. Ehe. Uh -huh. Nashindwa hapa ni wapi but <laughs> karibu na kina Maru hapa uh -huh. nikasema nikuje nikusalimie. Asante baba yangu. Mm. Karibu sana. Mimi nashukuru sana umenikaribisha na chai. Asante baba yangu. Mm. Asante. Sasa sasa hii kila kitu iko shwari naona stima inawaka. Iko shwari hapa tuko sawa. Mm. Stima nilikuwa na yona yako wengine siku mm. mimi nilikuwa na yana hata mtu ana deck nyumba na mtamani sema siku moja lakini nilikuwa nachitoa moyo nasema Mungu siku mm. moja utanitendea mambo maku. Ukweli mm. nilikuwa naenda hata kufanya bibarua kwa watu kwa deck nyumba mm. nasema Mungu bila na deck hapa na mimi siku moja nipe na mimi ni deck. Ah. Nilikuwa na tamani. So mama is telling me for those who can't hear Swahili is uh, she used to really long for someone to you know she used to long, long for her own house you know to mop and doing her, her chores she's really grateful that's all she's trying to, to tell me she's really grateful for marwa for what marwa you know where marwa got her from and you know the new house the lights are 
on you know she's really grateful for that you know she's really happy hmm come on sasa mimi nilikuwa nikutembelea tu kidogo hata sikujua hapa ni kwako ili niende kwa maro na Actually, I don't understand Korea. But they're quarreling. You cannot even talk to them. <laughs> you, know, you can tell. You can tell when someone is quarreling. <laughs> the language does not matter, but you just know they are quarreling. everything happens so in this village they have everything they harvest everything you know get everything locally so this is them harvesting uh, the sand for construction direct from the river so there was a heavy downpour that's why there's a lot of sand so guys are busy in the river harvesting a lot of sand from the river let me just show you This sand is being harvested direct from the river. And there was quite an erosion because of the heavy downpours. There was a big, big, big downpour yesterday night. That's why there's a lot of 
erosion and that are of sand. Everything is everything in this village. In the village is, everything is here. I saw there is tobacco here. Yes, they plant tobacco. Uh -huh. All the I wanna say maize is maize here. Is there. O uh, maize onions are, are there. here. Oranges they are there. Avocados. Oranges are also here. Yes, of course people plant oranges, but in small scale. Ah. You know all the stuff. So, if mm -hmm. you're watching this, it's Pablo Junior here, the village boy. You, I also have a channel you can go check me as Pablo mm -hmm. and as for J, Junior J and R. Mm -hmm. I've been working mostly at the construction site, but today I changed the position. Mm -hmm. Why did you change? No, you, you, you just go. Ah, uh, why did you change? I why changed because you know here. Uh -huh. There is a lot of income as compared to right now there. Is it because of the rain? Yes, also the sign is there. Uh, ah. Also because of the rain, I changed. Oh, that's so, why you decided to change because uh, here change. now they pay more. Uh, yes, of course. Ah, nice. Yes, that's, now we are trying to harvest. Mm -hmm. I was working, yesterday I was at the construction. Mm -hmm. Today I'm harvesting sand. Mm -hmm. and so you are everywhere, bro. I'm everywhere. You are also a YouTuber. I'm also a YouTuber, you see. <laughs> so. Life is like life is a sad. Yeah, you must be, you know. You must be fit in all areas. Absolutely. That's right. So if you're watching, mm -hmm. you can tell what you are calling it after. So guys, you can check him out. He's also a YouTuber. Yes, By Pablo the name Junior. Pablo Junior. Yes, but my Junior yes. is J and R. Oh, J and R. Yes, of course. Yeah. And I'm Lennox Junior. Yeah, I'm yeah. Lennox Junior. So ah. <laughs> they serve the tea. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sasa, bro, yes. me, I'm walking around okay. trying to get, you know, learn your village. You know, you, your village is really blessed. Yeah. It's like everywhere, YouTubers need to come here to get the blessings to live. Right. The Mecca, you know, the Mecca of YouTube. The Mecca, yes. yes. So let me the internet you. village. Yeah. Hello, my people. <coughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Lennox Jr. If you are new, kindly consider liking and subscribing to this channel. I appreciate the growth. We are on our way to, to 4K subs. I really appreciate that, guys. So today I'm just walking around the village, giving you a tour of the village, you know, getting one-on-one -on -one touch with the people, talking to Mara's people around here, you know, just interacting with these people, getting to feel, you know, to get the feel of the village. That is what I'm doing. So I'm in, uh, I'm next close to the river, maize plantation is here, just walking around giving you a nice tour. Hapa magari ikipita, ikipeleka mchanga, ikipeleka hadi kwa huko chini, they just get problems here. So you're fixing the road. I say that instead of that, let me find these uh, stones. I put them a level I saw that when the rain comes, the sand will stack here, now it will be level. Ah. Then instead of people traveling, hmm. traveling, it gives them a hard time. Don't you see, Baba? Yes, yes, I can yeah, see. Now, this is, if I get this one now, hmm. I put them like that. Yeah. Now when it rains, mm -hmm. everything comes and stuck here. Ah. Now you see this sand will cover here, it will be level, mm -hmm. level, just like that. Ah. Mm. So me, I'm Lennox. Lennox. Yes. Uh -huh. And I came to visit Maro here. Oh, yes. And I'm just walking the village. Okay. Yes. Me, I'm Joel Maro. Yes. This is my home. Joel Maro. Yeah. So you're the brother to. No, no, it is a name. <laughs> it's just, it's just a... Maro is the first. Every, every firstborn uh -huh. is called a Maro, Mita, or a Chacha. In our tribe. So you are not so, related? So are you related? I'm now a, I'm a neighbor. This, this is my home. Here he is, now we are neighbors. But are you related? Do you have any relationship? Uh, that name, uh -huh. it doesn't mean that when you are called Mara, you have to be a, you have related. To, no. Oh. I'm also a oh, What is the meaning of Marwa? Marwa, uh -huh. when, I, when anybody called Marwa was born, uh -huh. was born during the time, uh, the father, all the grandfather came and found a child is born while he was drunkard. Oh. So Marwa is the alcohol, Pombe. Oh, Marwa is. Alcohol. Yeah, so we are called after that when I was born, my grandfather came and found ah this is my yeah, this is Maro when ah. he was drunk. So the same as him there, you see? Oh I yeah. get it. Yeah. 
Oh. That's how Maro came. So Maro just can just be a common name. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And firstborn, or mm -hmm. you are named after somebody who was called Maro. Ah. Uh, like now, if I die, mm -hmm. the children will be called Maro. Maro. Yeah. And they will be named after me. Interesting. You see? <laughs> yeah, me, I came to visit now Maro here. Yeah, okay. Yes. Now you are leaving. No, no, Come no. From, I'm still around. I'm from still Nairobi, around. but I'm still around. Okay. I'm just toward in the village, okay. just getting to know the village. Oh, yes. Yeah, here it's home of you. are welcome. Ah, and you are here, you uh -huh. are free to do what, to walk. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, that's good. Absolutely. Yeah, we like visitors. We like yeah. people who visit us. Thank you very much. Yeah, please. I welcome. Really appreciate it. Thank you very uh, much, Renox. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you, Renox. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Nice time, then. Ah, uh, nice time, too. Yeah. So, guys. You've heard it, eh? Maru apparently means alcohol. Or someone born during that time. When the son or the father is a drunkard or something. Those are not my comments. Those are the neighbor's comments. So guys, I'm uh, still in the village. Walking in the village, touring the village, knowing the people feeling the culture, meeting people in the farms, talking to the villagers here, getting to know them. Hello. Hi. Getting to know them. And, you know, having a feel of how it is to feel to live in a, a YouTube village. This is a YouTube village, absolutely. And I'm um, just, it's, it's nice. It's, it's actually very nice. Yes, that is my mom. Hey, but but don't arudi. Eh, ni me ako busy, but uta patana na eh. That is my mom. Ah. So yes. Hello, hello. It's twelve fourteen, twelve twenty-four. Yes. PM and I'm in Mara's village near Bohansi. Just walking around. I want to show you nice places, nice things about this village. The, all the good things about this village. Nothing bad that I've seen so far, but if I see it, of course I'll, I'll have to highlight it. But I want to give you a walk, a walk through around this place. Nice touch, you know. There's a slaughterhouse here. These people grow everything, absolutely. They harvest sand. The temperatures are okay, except the sun. The sun is scorching, I'm telling you. The rains are enormous. When it, you know, when it rains here, it's so serious. Like yesterday, there was, a, there was rain, serious rain. And it was, it was with the hailstones. So it destroyed a lot of crops here. I'm walking around and people are complaining about how that devastated their farms. These are natural things, you know.